Hey, hi, it's me, Lei, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I'm super excited because my Michael's order came in, and it's just perfect because tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I really want to do some playtime. I've been super crazy busy just working with deadlines and, you know, uh, work for other companies and and um created some happy mail for my patreons and so it's just been super crazy busy so i thought i'm like you know what i really need to do some journaling and do a little bit of fun so creative play but anyways i have been practicing um doing some whimsical characters my portraits so the mixed media girls i have been binge watching youtube videos um about mixed media and you know try to draw some not really realistic characters because i don't think i can really draw that those beautiful portraits but at least close to it you know um and turn them into a mixed media character but um really i've been having fun i've been having fun just practicing and and trying to figure out placement of eyes or how how skinny my neck's going to look uh even just the lips alone and all that stuff and last time i went live i actually did show um my journal but we got cut off thanks zoom thanks a lot but we're gonna go finish that but here's just a few of my practice of my mixed media girls so we have this we have that but it's it's been really just fun um trying to figure out thank you honey um so this is my journal the watercolor notebook from archer and olive i've shared this many times here on youtube and i have been really enjoying it a lot i love the watercolor papers in here um, like what I said, this is a dot grid, so it's not blank or anything like that. Um, and that's kind of starting to bother me a little bit, the dots. Although I can use some gesso to cover it up or white acrylic paint. But, you know, it's not always the case that I want to do that. And also the size. I feel like I'm wanting a much bigger space for my art journaling. So I have been doing research and watching a lot of videos what kind of journals are great for mixed media and art journaling like this and the one that i've learned the dilutions from diane reevely is really really great and i was so lucky because michaels were having buy one get 150 percent off and so i'm like you know what i think this is my time to grab a new journal and so I grabbed this one, which is the large size. Oh, there's a hair there. Ewing. Um, a large size. And uh, I think this is an 8 by 6 by 6 maybe or 8 by 8 A square size version. So this square one is black notebook. So you have this here. This is my first one I'm going to open. I'm super excited. So it says doodle, collage, paint, and more. Contains 48 unlined pages. And so this is from Ranger Inc. Okay, inside, I'm gonna take this out now. So I'm gonna open it up with you. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I hope everyone's healthy. Advance happy Mother's Day to all mommies out there. Um, I hope you'll have some creative time as well and some, you know, relaxing time tomorrow. You well deserve that. And then there's another one in the back. So the Dilutions Black Creative Journal features heavyweight black cardstock. So it's a cardstock. Ideal for the applications of Dilutions paint, doodle collaging, and other art journaling techniques. The journal cover, made from sturdy chipboard, that's the cover, contains 48 unlined pages for endless creativity. Perfect for creative art journaling. Um, blah, blah, blah. Use with pigment inks and pens. Na, 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 na. And I don't know how to read French. <laughs> so we're going to take, how do I take that out? Okay. It seems so thick just for 48 pages. Maybe because, because the cardstock they use is a really premium quality, really thick pages. Because I would think it's like more than that, but I guess just 48 pages. I'm just going to do this. So 48 black, there's no dot grid, no line, so just black cardstock. Super fun. Um, let me know if you 
are familiar with the this journal and let me know what your experience is and how you like it or what you don't love about it. I'm very curious. Just so you guys know, I am super thrilled about this black and red. Yeah, it reminds me of my favorite shoes that I can't wear anymore. <laughs> my Louboutin shoes. Damn, hurts my feet. <laughs> You'd think an expensive shoes will be more comfortable than that, but no, it's not. It hurts. <laughs> But it's it's pretty. It's lovely to look at. So you have a pocket in here. You can put your stamps in here. Some collage paper in there. I doubt I'll use that. I never use pockets like this because this will this will already get super chunky. So I doubt that I'll be using the pocket. But it's nice to have there just in case I need to take this travel with me. Then it's there. It's nice. Okay, so this one, you just slip this right here to kind of close your journal. This is very handy because I know this one is going to get really chunky. So that's the eight by eight, love it. Okay, so this is the large size. Look at the difference from the A5. Look at this guys, that's the A5 size. And this is like two of these. So I wanna say that this is the um, B5. Let me grab a B5. Okay. So this is a B5 notebook from Archer and Olive. So maybe the insides is kind of like the B5 size. That's pretty cool. So this one is from Archer and Olive. This is from the last um, subscription. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm not, I don't have any plans for it yet. But this one I'm excited to use. Okay, so this one is 64 online pages. Okay, um, features a heavyweight mixed media cardstock. Oh, so it's not a watercolor page, huh? I thought for sure it's going to be a watercolor page. I guess not. I might have to get the Dina Wakely also. I think the Dina Wakely has some watercolor pages in there. So 64 heavyweight mixed media cardstock. And then this is made of very sturdy chipboard. So it's Ranger, and you know Ranger is really great quality. The paper is on the yellow side. So this is this has a very yellow tone to it, but it's unlined. There's no dot grids. And so this is the Archer and Olive. See how yellow the dilutions is? I don't mind that, really. Um, but sometimes it's just different when you're using a very white and then the colors just appear so differently. Um, this is already warm tone, so I'm not sure. I, I use a yellow, I don't mind that, because my Midori notebook is also yellowish. That really great, heavy, heavy weight cardstock here. So you have 64 pages in here, and it's big. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't even know what I'm gonna put in here. Um, <gasps> I'm scared and I'm excited at the same time. I'm like, it's like, <sighs> So many things to do here. It's always the white space that's a little scary in the beginning. You know how it is. It's like you don't know what to put in there because you don't want to mess your notebook. But it's just you have to just use it. However, whatever you put in there is going to be yours. That's the most important thing. Wow. This is a large size. We're going to have fun with this. So I have been doing some paintings in here. But like what I said, it's just getting a little smaller for me now. So this is the A5 and this is the large size of dilutions. And then I also got me some dilution spray. So I have two shimmer sets in here. And then I also have some ink spray. Hmm. I am familiar with the um, Ranger, but the Tim Holtz. So the Distress Oxide, and I don't have any Distress Inks, but I have Distress Oxides. So those are like mix of dye and pigment. But the dilutions, I actually do not know. It always is water-based, so it's okay to mix with acrylic because water-based are okay. But I don't know if this is a dyed ink. That's pretty weird that there's, is there anything in there that says it? Oh, no, that's the shimmer spray. Let's see. Um, Dilutions ink spray is a water-based, acid-free, and non-toxic. 
concentrated colorant for pores, surfaces, great for paper, wood, 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 canvas, chipboard, and more. So use with stencils for even more possibilities. Yep, nope, there's nothing. Nothing that says it's a dye based or anything like that. Weird. I wish that they said something. At least something about it. Okay, let's open one up and we're going to try it because this is the fun part, is always trying the new supplies. I don't know about you guys, but I always struggle with like opening packages and things like this. It's like everything's just ugh, sealed. It's like, come on, I just wanna play with the thing. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's like I would often hurt myself too just trying to open the darn package. <laughs> maybe because I get super excited. And then can you imagine going live here with actually you guys doing this? There's the um, stress of that. Then I'm going to, oh my God, I don't want to hurt myself. Is there any good way of trying to open up sealed packages like this? I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm going to hurt myself. Okay. I am excited to see what we can create with these inks. Because I don't know if this is like permanent. You know what I'm saying? It's like if it's going to move after I spray it because I love doing layers. So I'm a little scared that if I spray something and then layer something on top of it, I wonder if the colors will move around or start blending or once it dries it's it's permanent have you guys used this before do you have any idea how it works will it do that will it kind of like blend or once it's dry it's dry i'm curious if you've ever tried this before too let me know how you love it all right so this two are shimmer so maybe we should open up these other ones as well. I don't know if the shimmer is the same. Hold on. It's going to be the same formula as the ink spray. So it just says shimmer spray, um, add pearlescent shimmer to any paper craft or mixed media projects. Same thing. I mean, just shake the bottle rattles and shimmer is suspended in liquid and spray directly into surface clean your spray nozzle immediately after use allow to air dry or heat with a ranger heat it craft tool i actually ordered that one from ranger and i can't wait to get it because i think when you're drying things it's much better to use that heating um like that tool instead of my embossing heat gun because the embossing heat gun what happens is that the heat is so directly into just one place it doesn't spread out the heat very well so it's much better to actually use just a blow dryer if you're just going to dry stuff okay that's good enough okay there's that ball it has to rattle let's set down Okay, we'll open this one. What color is this? This is the Vibrant Turquoise. Pretty. I wonder if it's going to show up in the black pages. I'm super excited to try that. I bet you that would be so pretty, like the shimmer against the black page. Oh my God, I'm going to hurt my silver. <laughs> Jeez. Gosh, okay. Let's da -da 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 -da. This is polished jade. It looks pretty. Look at the difference. Da -da -da. Last. Oops. So I should just do this from the top. Don't hurt yourself, lady. I did it. I did it, guys. Nope, I did not. Epic fail. I'm trying to hurry so we can spray and play. All right, there we go. So this one is fresh lime. This color is super pretty. 
I've watched one video where they said, don't really shake it, blah, blah, blah. Just kind of like, yeah, like this. Diane, when I was watching her YouTube videos, she's like to kind of like swoosh it around. Swoosh around those mica powders that's in there. Okay, we're going to swoosh it around. Last one. Guys, I can't wait to see you that package that I ordered from Ranger because I, it was a big order. I ordered the paints, the Dilutions paints. I also ordered the um, Dina Wakely, the paints, the acrylic paints, and also her spray. I wanted her spray, the Dina Wakely spray, because those are acrylic, acrylic spray. So it's not pigment, it's not dye base, but they are liquid acrylic. So I can't wait to play with that one. I'm really super excited. It's kind of weird. Same one, but different packaging. See? This one has that. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this will show up in the black. Or how well, I should say. How well it will show up. I bet you it will show up really well, the white. Super excited to try that. And I think with mixed media, what I love about it, what I've been loving about it, I should say, is the freedom of just creating. Because, you know, I've always been super OCD with things. I like it, like, just perfectly. And with mixed media, it's kind of like the imperfect is part of that um, process, which is just so freeing. You know, it's super freeing as an artist to just create um, without the expectation of perfect. And I love it. And as you can see here, this, this is the one I created last night. I used a watercolor paper in here. It's like a 9 by 12 maybe. No, oh, so I guess this is a 9 by 12. Like this, and it's just, I started with a sketch, and then I used some watercolors. I actually just used Arteza watercolors in here. And it was just, I don't know, it was super fun. Because look at how she's, you know, she's she looks real, but she doesn't look really that real. <laughs> I am not I am not doing well explaining this, but <laughs> she's just so mixed media girl and I just love it. I can't wait to keep creating. Okay, I'm gonna stop blibber blabbering here. Let's try the spray. Let's do it here first with the A5. I know I should just spray it in the journal, but I'm kinda <laughs> don't want to mess with the journal first. I don't know if I'm just, it's just me, or you're the same way. <laughs> it's like, Ugh! and it's going to be a mess, and I, it's okay. I got this Tim Holtz um, glass mat from Hobby Lobby. Everything was like 50% off Tim Holtz, and I'm super happy that I got it, finally, because it was out of stock online, and so when I went to the store, I was super excited to find that. Okay, okay, all right, hold on. So we're going to try the inks first. Let me grab my Scribbles That Matter black notebook so we can test the sprays in here too. All right, I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys, but I love new art supplies. When there's like new art supplies, I'm like a little girl. It's like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're going to try the ink spray first. So these are not the shimmer. These are just the ink. And we're going to see that once it dries, we'll see if it's going to move with water. Okay. Because everything's just layer after layer here. Okay, we're just going to spray it. Don't be scared, lay, just spray. It's okay. Ooh, wow, that's pretty. Ooh, that is the... Vibrant, vibrant turquoise. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is the laid back lilac. Oh, wow, laid back lilac. Just okay, spray it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my god, everything on the background is purple too. <laughs> So you guys can see the mess over here. Everything here is purple. And I have my paint. Oh, God, my artwork is in there. Let's take it out. So don't mess you up. Okay. So that's the laid-back lilac. The last in the set is the periwinkle blue. Oh, gosh, I bet this is pretty. I'll try this one. 
Periwinkle Blue. Let's try it. Oh, this is kind of different the way I was. Uh, okay, so we're going to let that air dry for a little bit. And then we're going to use the shimmer. See if this is going to move later. Once it dries, we're going to play with squirt some water in here and see if it will move. So we'll just set that aside for a little bit. And I actually, if you have like boxes, you know, um, sorry about that, that you don't use, you can always like use it here <laughs> to shield your other stuff. <laughs> so they don't just spray all over the place. Okay, now we're going to try the shimmer spray and I'm just gonna swoosh it because Diane said to swoosh these things like this. So the mica powder, because you're going to see the mica powder at the bottom, see? So you want that to be all over the place. So when you spray, it's not just the ink that you're spraying, but the mica powder will be all over. So once you see it kind of like, see? Now they're all mixed. So you just swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Let's start with the Vibrant Turquoise. I'm scared. And they said to clean your nozzle so that it doesn't get clogged up. So I have my baby wipes in here and we're going to clean it later. Okay, spray it, lay to spray. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. My hands are beautiful too. I'm like a mermaid now. <laughs> this is what my hands look like every day. I've paint every day. And then... And this is also where that glass mat actually really helps a lot because it's easy to clean. Okay, so this is the polished jade. Oh gosh, I bet you it was so pretty. Polished jade. Look at that shimmer. I don't know if you guys can really look. Oh my goodness gracious. Super pretty. Oh. My golly, that is lovely. <gasps> it's like a mermaid scale. How pretty is that? I love it. Okay, and then this is the fresh lime. Let us try the fresh lime. And I didn't clean up my nozzle, did I? I know. And I told myself I'm going to be good. Let's clean it up. Let's be a good girl and clean. Okay, so when you're cleaning up after your <laughs> uh, sprays, the paper towel actually cleans and then the baby wipes, it spreads. Because remember, this is also wet. So whatever you're wiping in there, will you'll spread it because you have moisture in your baby wipes. So just be mindful of that. So always have a paper towel. Uh, just to clean your surface and all that but man i think i sprayed a whole lot because look how much my paper is buckling that is really buckling and then if you need to clean just your baby wipes like that and then clean again with the paper towel oh my gosh that is really very opaque very pigmented lordy be careful. <laughs> if you have like things laying around your table, make sure you put them away. Your planners, your journals. Ugh. This is like gold to me. This fresh lime here. That's the fresh lime. The mica powder that's in here are like gold. It's not really green. The shimmer is more like goldish to me. And then this one is super pretty. It's like light blue. And then the dark teal over here. That's gorgeous. Okay, we're going to go get this one. And we'll just spray some green in here just to mix it. I'm going to mix some green. And this is just how you play. I mean, you can press so little and get those bigger spots in there. See how I'm getting much bigger spots because I'm just kind of softly, see? Kind of like you, you create your, how much you want in there. If you want it spread, then you have really press on the nozzle. But if you just want little and little, you just kind of like that. 
let's clean it. And then let's add to this. Make sure you clean it up so all the mica powder will go. And it's like it creates this kind of like a ring the way I was pressing it. Ooh, I didn't clean my nozzle. Bad, bad lay. And just, just slowly, just like squirt here and there. And that turned into this color because we have the blue in here. And then I added that fresh lime. So we kind of ended up with some aqua color in here. So there's no point in spraying in there with the aqua. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I can't, I can't even. I'm going to clean that nozzle because I want to be a good girl. So clean it so you don't clog your spray. And then you get frustrated because it's your fault. <laughs> I do that to myself. I'm like, ah, why didn't I clean it? Okay, so we have the orange. Look how gold this is. Look, that's not green. So as you can see, it's a different color. You get two different results. If you're going to use a white paper, you get a really fresh lime green in there. And then if you spray it against the gold, against the black, I mean, that green turns into really pretty gold. How gorgeous is that? And then here you get this light periwinkle blue actually against the black. And then you get really dark aqua color in here, right? The turquoise, it's just different results if you're using two different papers. And that's super fun to play around. So we're gonna add some pure sunshine. Oh yeah, I love pure sunshine, like orange. So let's just, Add it in here, here. Ooh. Nothing's coming out, oh, there we go. Here we go. Ah! Oh, wow, that's pretty. Look at that. It's like a perfect tangerine color, but it's pure sunshine. Whoa! Mm -hmm. We're creating some mess in here. Pretty mess. Just clean up that nozzle. I'm going to do some pink just because. Oh, I want to spray that against the black, too. Oh, we're getting browns in here because purple and orange. Lay, why would you do that? I don't know why, but I just want to create a mess. It's okay. It is a mess. So we're just going to spray the orange in here, the pure sunshine. If you guys have any questions. Oi! That is super pretty. One here. Oi! No, clean it. There we go. Man, can you imagine walk walk around? Since it's non-toxic, maybe I'll spray it <laughs> in my body. I'm like, yes, pure sunshine here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we'll spray the, or the, the pink one. So this is the bubblegum pink. Look at my hands. Happy mess, beautiful mess. Let's try this, bubblegum pink. Gosh, I bet you this looks so pretty. Can't even. I'm gonna do some small splatters. So when you want small splatters, go close to your page too, because you're gonna have really, hey, look at that. It's not even a splatter. Well, so what if I want like big spray? There, so you really press on it. Ay, 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 it looks purple because of the black paper. So we're just gonna, there. Pretty. Look at that. Oh my. It's so shimmery. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering. Let's see if I just I just created some browns in there. Hey, yikes. Because the purple and the orange mixed together, they turned brownish. Don't avoid that muddy color. Ew. Not good. Look at that pink. Look how vibrant the pink is. So pretty. Paint some in there too. Hey, I covered up the orange. Oh well. So, so we have that. So pretty. And lastly, we're gonna go try the white. So. This time, this is going to show up against the white because we have many other different colors in here. So I wonder if I wanted to 
added the orange. I wonder if I dried my first layer first. And that will avoid everything to blend together. Because, of course, if everything's, you know, if something is still wet, water-based, so when the product is still really wet in there, and you mix another color, expect those two colors to blend together, right? So maybe if we dry this, we're not going to end up with a mess. So let's do this. I'm going to get my fancy recollections heat gun. So we're going to dry this layer. Just do this. And sometimes when you dry things, the colors really pop out even more. And I realized that when I was using some oxide spray from Ranger 2 from Tim Holtz and then I used the Bloom Shimmer Spray from Prima Marketing, it always dries differently. The color is just super different, especially the Bloom from Prima Marketing. It's like when you spray it, it looks one thing and then when it dries, it's just so different. So I'm just dabbing a little bit of that really wet, like a pool of color in there. So it'll help me to dry faster. Oh, look at all those mica powders. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So dry, that's what they've been saying though with mixed media. It's kind of like dry after every layer. So you don't mess up and you don't end up with like yucky colors. Which we didn't do. <laughs> but now we're going to dry it. Let's see if that's going to help us. I think it's dry enough. All right. And we're going to do a little bit of experiment. We're going to mix it here against the really wet things. And then we're going to mix it here, spray it here on top of the dried layer. Okay. So I think that's already mixed enough lay. So let's try it first against all these dried. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah, it's all over my place. Everything has a white <laughs> shimmer now. Maybe just put it on the desk, clay and spray like that. What are you doing? I'm such a mess. Okay. I don't know. I can't really see it very well. Can you guys see it? I mean, a little bit there, but maybe when it dries. Now this time we're going to spray it in the sweat. Uh, oops. This one really like spreads out. Like every nozzle is so different than the other. You'd think they, <laughs> this is pretty, <laughs> but this one sprays so differently. I don't know about the spray, man. It's so messy. So just be mindful of that. I always try to use washi tape like a matte finish washi tape and then it will write on top of it or if you have a masking tape and just say beware nozzle spray too much or the more you use your tools then you just get used to something and then you know you know all right so let's look into that let's wait a little bit and spray it over here too yee look at those pink i am going to dry this part and then leave this one wet so let's just dab to help us with the drying time. Be careful also when you're picking up things like this because you're picking up the shimmer. So just be mindful of that. You might, aside from picking the color, picking up the color, you're also picking up some of that shimmer, that mica powder. So. This notebook is from Scribbles That Matter. This is an A5. See how it looks purple in here? Because you're using black paper and the colors just appear different depending on what paper you're using. I wonder if craft paper, I wonder what it will look like. Super pretty, guys. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Shine and shimmer and splendid. Tell me, princess, 
Now when did you last let your heart desire? I like that. I can see what I'm saying with the embossing heat tool. It's like the heat is so directly into just one direction because it's so small. So that's why I ordered that kind of like a small blow dryer. This one. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, man. White spray. You're a mess. Okay, fine. I'm going to spray white. Look, look how much that spread. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is like a dangerous nozzle. <laughs> it's just whoosh. <laughs> but if I'm using a bigger space, I guess, a bigger notebook, it's just going to cover a big space. Man, so if you don't want that to happen, you can always just open up this and then kind of just leave droplets, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know about that. There we go. So I've seen some people do it like this, where they're just like that. And then you get bigger droplets that way. But having that small also, is kind of like it's a galaxy. It's so pretty. And this time we're going to do it here in the wet area. Oh, I love how this sprays like this. Because I tried doing this with the Ranger, and it's just an epic fail. It will not give me... Like this droplets. This is awesome. I like it. I think I'm going to use it that way. Since I like having those drops anyways. Drop of paints like that. Let's look at it closely. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I mean, can you imagine just putting a vellum on a small piece or here maybe, or even here, and then do your lettering or do your journaling, whatever it is that you want, you know, if you have some bottled emotions in there. Um, yeah, write it down. Look how gorgeous that is. It's so pretty. I wonder if we dry it, what it's going to look like. Let me pick up some of these. Oh, that's actually dry. That white is really opaque. So I think, personally, I don't think I'm going to spray that because look how, man, how wide that range of that spray. But who knows? I might need it for some specific look, but I really love the look of the drop ink spots like that. It's super pretty. And if you have a metallic pen, you can, like, write in here some journaling stuff. Oh, perfect. Actually, I bought an extra fine Posca paint so we can add a little bit of lettering in here. Let's just dry it real quick. And then we can try the Posca so you guys can see. So Posca paint is a paint pen. So it's kind of like an acrylic but it's in a pen. So it's really great to use with like detailed projects. Um, if you're not used to using like a real brush, the Posca pen comes really handy just to come add small details, you know, just little doodles. And if you want that very saturated colors and opaque colors that the acrylic paint gives, then I think you're going to love the Posca pens. Oh my gosh. Isn't she lovely? It's so beautiful. Isn't she wonderful? I love it. It's like a galaxy. So we can add like a little bit of stars in here. So this is the Posca. I do have the Posca in broad, which is like, I think it's a 3.5. I don't know. I'm not even going to say it because I can't remember. Um, and then also a fine tip. So this one is the extra fine. All right. So when the first time you use a Posca pen, it's kind of like the acrylograph. You have to like press it down a little bit so you can activate those inks. And then you just press on it and let the ink flow get started. So this is a 0 0.7 millimeter. So basically really like the 
acrylograph. Let's see. Sometimes I'm not happy with the acrylograph pen because the white doesn't always show every time. I don't know. Maybe I don't, I'm not shaking it enough, I think. So hold on. Lord, okay, there we go. Get it started. And we can start adding some like star shaped in here. Like this one. This is how I make like, like those kawaii stars like that. So I start with a plus sign and I just kind of work it along the way like that. See, let's get you guys closer. Can you really see it? Okay. And then you can add like, like that. Oh my gosh, this is super lovely already. Then I'm gonna add a smaller one. So again, I start with a plus sign. I kind of just go sideways, fill out those side first, so like that. And then I just stretch it a little. And then I just add more height or width if needed, whatever you want like that. See how beautiful that is. Um, one thing I'm noticing, I don't know if it's because it's not dry enough, I am picking up some of the pink. I don't know if you guys can see that also, but there's a little bit of that pink in there. Then I want to add a little bit more. So just like that. Fill out those areas. And I think with, when I'm doing art journaling like this, I try not to overthink things too much. Does that make sense? I just kind of go with the flow. I'm having some pina colada. If you guys would like some, <laughs> it's so good. Um, but I just kind of like not overthink things. Um, just, whatever feels right to you, you know? So we're just gonna add that. And also, I always try to teach this when I'm teaching workshop, is that with lettering also, it works the same thing with lettering. Is like find what is the most comfortable to you, whether it is from left to right when you're trying to draw a line, whether it is from left to right or from right to the left, you know, because we're all different that way. And so, but you have to just always find what works the best for you, even if, you know, there's the teacher will say, do it this way. And I'm not saying don't follow that because there's a reason why you attended a workshop. But I guess with, with practice and, you know, repetition, you will always find your own technique that would work much better from you. So always try to find that one. Try to find whatever feels the most natural is what I'm trying to say there. Like super pretty. I think I'm going to add one in here. And one good thing about the Posca pens is that they really dry quick. That's why I love using them. You get this really bright, opaque colors, and then it also dries quickly. You know, when you're using gel pens, they <laughs> sometimes they take forever to dry, and I just end up with lots of smear and frustration. It kind of contradicts about that. Try not to overthink things, but no, that, but that's why you try many different tools and art supplies and you find your favorite. And so when you find your favorite, it always helps because you kind of know how to work it and you know how it works, how it performs. And then you just stick with that. I really don't like that. I wish I didn't do that. No, it looks so unbalanced. 
to. Alright, so now that I have everything in here, I want to add a little bit of maybe lettering on this side. You know, so maybe over here. So just kind of shake it. And when you shake it, make sure you have the lid because, yeah, I did that many times and it's like, ah! I have paint all over me. Okay, so since this is looking like a galaxy here, I'm going to. I love this saying. Actually, it is a song. And let me know if you're familiar with the song. It's from the brand new Heavies. It's called You Are the Universe. I really, really love the message of this song. I used to sing it. Um, with my band and I really love the message the teaching of this song it's kind of just saying that you are in charge of your life and that you can be whoever you want to be you can be whatever you want to be and you hold the key so the choice is yours to make but it really is lovely song Super catchy, too. So you are the universe. I love it. So that's it. When I'm working in an art journal, usually it's like this. And remember, we were just creating a swatch in here. We weren't really planning on doing anything. But, you know, I can't leave that blank because it's super lovely like that. So this was the, um, wow, that is super pretty. It's amazing how that green turned into yellow. That is lovely. And that pink, the bubblegum pink against the black, turned into purple. You know, it's a shade of purple now. And then this is the one that we created. So this one's still wet. That's crazy. It takes forever to dry. So that's the wet. And then this was the one that we dried the first layer. And then you just kind of see those white shimmer a little bit there so some of it are still wet but yeah i'm just gonna keep playing around here but um thank you guys so much for joining me um if you have any questions but i <laughs> look at that i will play around more with these tools and then i can't wait to get the um dilutions the shimmer paint and then also the dina wakeley um, so once I get that ranger order, oh my gosh, I will sh definitely share it with you guys. But if you have any questions for me, if I know the answer, of course, I always get back with you, always. Um, but anyways, advance happy Mother's Day to all mommies. And you always, always stay creative and stay happy, you guys. Thanks for joining in. Bye.